instead of doing the cash advance, so why don't you take the other options out there? Hi everyone, Crystal Morales here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Okay, so hindi ko na patatagalin ito. Ang topic for today is about cash advance. I believe that this topic uh, about cash advance, I uh, na mentioned ko na or I have already discussed in the previous videos that I have uploaded. But as always, palagi kong sinasabi na reiteration is very important. Kaya today, babalikan natin ang topic na yan para mabigyan natin ng emphasis kung bakit sinasabi ko na hindi ko kayo ine-encourage to do the cash advance. But there will always be cases when you need to do the cash advance. And I believe in that, especially in emergency cases. Yung wala kang mahiraman and emergency talaga, then you can. Pero kapag hindi naman siya ganun ka-emergency, you can take the other options. Okay, so ready ka na ba? Kung ito ang issue sa'yo, so makinig ka. Ay, hindi pala. Manood ka. <laughs> yes, it's true. I uh, would like to repeat that I don't really encourage you guys. I strongly uh, discourage you rather to do the cash advance. Kasi una natin titignan, number one, sa cash advance, you cannot earn points or rewards. Okay, tandaan natin yan, walang points or rewards sa cash advance. Number two, dun pa lang sa pag-withdraw mo ng pera sa ATM, meron ka ng cash advance fee amounting to 200 pesos regardless of the amount okay, e eh kung sakali man na nawili ka sa pag cash advance and then uh, 3 times ginawa mo yan within a month, okay, regardless of the amount, 200 pesos ang cash advance fee and for the 3 times na nag cash advance ka, you are already charged to it 600 pesos, and number 3 of course, hindi lang naman cash advance ang ginawa mo sa ATM mo. For example, nag-grocery ka din using your credit card. So, meron kang 2% finance charge and another 2% na interest for your cash advance. That will really take effect the day you do the cash advance. Meaning to say, right away magre-reflect na yung 2% na interest sa iyo. At kung halimbawa hindi mo siya nabayaran within a month, pagdating ng susunod na month, meron ka na naman another 2% na interest. So, why do I say that it is expensive? Yes, because kung titignan natin yung ibang features ng ating credit card, kapag ginagamit natin ito na mag-purchase ng items or gadget kapag affiliated yung ating banko with the merchant or the merchant with the bank, vice versa. You can purchase a gadget or an item and pay it in installments without interest. Meaning to say, 0% interest. And with the privilege to pay it in terms like 6 months or siguro 8 months or 12 months, meron pa nga eh, 24 months. And thinking of the fact that there is no interest added to it. Kaya pag i-compare natin yung pagpa-purchase ng items using our credit card doon sa cash advance, mahal talaga ang interest ng cash advance. Okay, and this one, sa cash advance, there is no grace period interest ka agad. Walang grace period. Sabi ko nga kanina, pagpatak ng pangalawang buwan, kung hindi mo pa siya nabayaran, interest na naman. Hindi katulad ng ating mga regular purchases na kapag dumating yung sowa mo, meron kang 20 to 25 days na grace period or palugit bago mag-due date yung bill mo. etong cash advance, hindi. Right away, pagdating ng sowa mo, the following month, may interest na kaagad ito. Ngayon, ang isa pang i-take note natin is the APR. The APR is Annual Percentage Rate. Ang APR ng cash advance is ranging from 17 point something 
to 28 point something. Yung APR ay ma-charge sa iyo once that you still have existing unpaid balance in your account or in your credit card within a year. So, instead of doing the cash advance, I strongly recommend to take the other options because I believe na marami tayong options out there. Although, sinasabi ko sa doon sa isang video ko na we are not just lucky but we are blessed once we have our own credit card kasi instead of borrowing an amount from other people or borrowing an amount doon sa mga lending institutions na ang tataas na mga interest nila now we have our credit card as our option diba pero pagdating sa cash advance mas mabuti na lang na i-take natin yung option to borrow from friends borrow from family members or borrow from relatives and then make make payment options with them kung ano yung kaya mo na option so i-request mo for example humiram ka ng amount and then ang option na hiningi mo is payable within 5 months and then sa sinabi naman ng kaibigan mo that 5 months is too long so, ang request naman niya sa'yo or ang suggestion niya is 3 months. So, you can meet halfway, no? So, okay na yon, lalo na kapag wala namang interest. Kasi nga, mas maganda yung humiram tayo sa ating mga kakilala, kaibigan, because I believe na hindi kanila or hindi nila papatungan ng interest yung ipapahiram sa'yo. Now, uh, ang daming mga lumalabas na loan app sa mga nagpa-pop up na lang sa'yo. Kung minsan sa akin, nagta-text na lang bigla. Ano, and then, ina-encourage ka or sinasuggest sa'yo to download the app. Yung mga loan apps na pagka-dami-dami. Ngayon, kung titignan natin yon at i-compare natin sa cash advance na ino-offer naman ng ating credit card, I think for me, ah, it is much better to take the cash advance from the bank rather than doon sa loan app kung saan ang taas-taas ng interest rate. Ngayon, kung meron man akong isasuggest na loan app, well, eto akin-akin lang naman to, no? Pero na-prove ko kasi, kaya I go for one hand. One hand offers a flexible way, mas longer yung terms, at for me, mas mababa yung interest. At ang maganda dyan, habang uh, napapatunayan mo na trustworthy ka naman, no? So, they're giving you um, a higher amount with lesser interest and longer terms to pay your loans. Kapag wala ka talagang option, you can take that. So, for me, either, no? Either you do the option like borrowing from family, friends, and relatives. Or, kung meron ka namang opportunity to do a personal loan from uh, your favorite bank or yung love na love mo na banko. So, why not? Kapag na-approve ka naman. Kasi mas mababa yung interest rate nila sa personal loan sa mga banko rather than doing the cash advance. Ang maganda sa personal loan is that you can borrow a uh, bigger amount, a uh, low, 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 low interest, and longer terms. So, if you can be approved with that, magandang option yan. Pero kapag talagang hindi ka na-approve o wala kang credit card, ang pwede mo lang gawin is to, you know, borrow from the loan app, go for one hand. Now, kapag may credit card ka, pero hindi ka naman na-approve sa personal loan, instead of borrowing from loan app, mas maganda naman na sa cash advance ka na lang ng banko, basta bayaran mo ka agad. And then, as much as possible, you decide kung magkano ba talaga yung gusto mo i-cash advance para hindi ka na umulit. So, you better decide kung halimbawa, okay, I wanna do a cash advance amounting to 5,000 pesos, withdraw mo na siya one time. Para yung uh, cash advance fee mo, 200 pesos lang. Okay, now I would like to ano, to um, share with you that sooner or later, the banks will increase yung finance charge nila na dati 2%, magiging 3% na. Bumabangon pa lang ang mga tao mula sa epekto ng pandemia, e eh, saka naman tumaas ang finance charge sa credit card. 
And even the cash advance na dati 2% lang ang interest monthly, magiging 3% na. Okay, so sa BPI, they will be starting to apply the 3% uh, finance charge and uh, 3% uh, interest for cash advance starting on March 13. Okay, so disclaimer, these are all my suggestions and my ideas. You may or may not take it or you may or may not apply it because your decision is still your priority. Okay, so there you go. I was able to, ano, to mention yung mga alam ko na importanteng bagay you need to know about cash advance. Though it uh, may not be complete, no? At maaring hindi ko natumbok din yung mga gusto nyong malaman tungkol dito. But uh, that's okay because you can still comment or message me sa Facebook. There you go. Or siguro drop your comment at the comment section and I'll be there to answer you back. So, that is all for today. Maraming maraming salamat. And um, I would like to, as usual, extend my heartfelt gratitude sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe lately. Yung mga nagda-drop ng kanilang comments. Thank you so much for trusting. And uh, doon po sa mga hindi pa nag-subscribe, you might subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. You can tap the notification bell so that you will be notified sa mga videos na i-upload ko ulit in the future. Maraming maraming salamat. And as what I always say, kahit ano pa yung pagsubok na pinagdadaanan natin, remember, life is beautiful because God is so good. Bye everyone!